Okay, so oh, that's my car <laughs> with my little number plate. So part of being a landlord is the boring stuff. Um, best show you this way for is all the mail. So I've just been in, I'm helping set up a service apartment. It's a block of flats that we own. So it's good, we're a management company so we can, um, we can allow ourselves to, to actually, oh look, somebody's having a party. <laughs> good on a Sunday. Um, and it's the mail management. A part of being a landlord is making sure that the really boring basic stuff uh, doesn't make your house look untidy. So my team have been in last week. This is all the removed mail for people that no longer live there that is just return to sender, do not live here. It sounds super boring, but stuff like cleaning up the front of the house, because you can always tell, can't you, when a house is rented out, because occasionally tenants don't care to the same level. Look, I want you to see this. I am so pr pleased for them. That was a commercial building that I got offered and I could only, I didn't see the opportunity. Um, they've done a fantastic job, but it was a commercial building uh, and they've turned it into residential and it looks amazing and they're gonna do very well. So yeah, clean up all the stuff, um, go in. I've just put a note for my team to clean up the front entrance hallway to actually hoover in upstairs because they need to do a bit of kind of just general tidying and then get rid of all your mail every single time you go into the property. And if you've got um, a letting it in, hello. <laughs> If you've got a letting agent managing it for you, then I would suggest that what you want to do is actually get a redirection service because A, you don't want to lose any important mail for yourself and B, I would absolutely put it in their contract that they need to go in every, I don't know how often it is, and find mail for old tenants because the last thing you want, although it won't directly be linked to you, just you just don't want the hassle, is old tenants. So we've got some tenants here without saying any names who unfortunately we know um, got into financial difficulty because they got into difficulty with us too. Uh, they end up resolving it with us and there are some debt collection letters chasing them. Now, um, I don't want my property registered as a property whereby people have got some debt collection letters against them. Look, everybody's partying. Sunday party, isn't it? So just tidy up all around the edges. It's the little things like that that'll make your property stand out. We have an amazing record. Uh, and we've got 1.72% void rate, which is stunning. I mean, normally you want to be assuming a kind of a 10% void rate. And I'm sure it's my little OCD head, which says, clean everything up, have the front garden looking amazing, make sure there's no letters come in, make sure everything's immaculate, light bulbs. You know, just, just nail having your property look like a home and well cared for, which of course takes time which is why I'm here on a Sunday. Mind you, the music's quite good. Okay, small stuff, but it really counts. Hope that helps. Bye.